In this example, we need to graph the function f of x equals 2 fifths all raised to the x power by making a table of coordinates. And here are the x values I need to use. So we're going to start where x equals negative 2. So we're going to find the function f evaluated at negative 2, and it's going to equal 2 fifths all raised to the x power, and what's x in this case? Negative 2. Well, how do we evaluate a fraction raised to a negative exponent? It equals the reciprocal raised to the positive exponent. So the reciprocal of 2 fifths is 5 halves, and I'm going to raise it to the positive 2 exponent. And 5 halves all squared just means 5 squared divided by 2 squared. 5 squared is 5 times 5 is 25 over 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. So f of x when x is negative 2 is 25 fourths. But since I'm going to have to graph that, I want to turn it into decimal form, which would be easier to graph. So this is 6.25. So now let's evaluate f when x is negative 1. So f at negative 1 is just 2 fifths raised to the x power. x is negative 1, so it's 2 fifths to the negative 1 exponent. So that is the reciprocal, 5 halves raised to the positive 1 exponent, which is just 5 halves. So f of negative 1 is just 5 halves. And when we graph it, we want to use the decimal equivalent, which is 2.5. Now we need to evaluate f of 0. Well, f of 0 is 2 fifths raised to the 0 power. And any base raised to the 0 power equals 1 as long as the base doesn't equal 0. Well, our base in this case is 2 fifths. So 2 fifths raised to the 0 power equals 1. So f of 0 equals 1. Now, when x is 1, f of 1 is 2 fifths raised to the x, which is 1, so it is just 2 fifths. So f of 1 is 2 fifths, otherwise known as 0 0.4. Finally, we figure out f of 2. It is 2 fifths raised to the x, well x is 2 in this case, so it's 2 fifths all squared, which is just 2 squared over 5 squared. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, over 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25. So f of 2 is 4 25ths, and in decimal form that is 0 0.16. So now we have our points, we're ready to graph our function. So plotting our points, the first point we found was when x equals negative 2, the y value was 6.25. Next point, x is negative 1, y was 2.5. Next point, 0, 1. Next point, 1, 0 0.4, down here. And the last point we calculated was when x is 2, y was 0 0.16. So now if we draw our graph, we get our decreasing parent graph since our base, 2 fifths, lies between 0 and 1. And the graph crosses the y-axis at 0, 1, but it never touches or crosses the x-axis because there is a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero that we always graph as a dotted line.